Tony Evans is the pastor of Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship. It's a mega church in Texas. And Mr. Evans announced that he is stepping down as pastor due to an undisclosed past sin. Now, the speculation is as rampant as you'd expect. So let's pull back away from the man and whatever it is that he's done. And let's look at this process, the more important process that is taking place right now. Welcome to Morning Tea. Hi, I'm Joanne Jolie, and I'm so glad you're here today. Men who shepherd a flock are placed into a different category. They are held to a higher standard as they lead many who are looking to them. They're listening to what they say. But they're sinners, of course, just like all of us trying to keep our accounts as short as possible. But in their position, there are things that they cannot do. And because of that, James warns us that not many of us should become teachers because we know that those who teach will be judged more strictly. So something came out and it has now fallen to the church elders to correctly judge and follow the scriptural procedure in managing this situation. In Tony Evans' statement, he was right to remind his people that you don't serve a man, you serve the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is so important, especially if you hold Dr. Evans in high regard. Don't get discouraged and, and don't be shocked by any of this. He's a man who's going through what he describes as a valley, as a spiritual healing journey. And this is what must happen for the good of him and for the good of the fellowship at Oak Cliff. So the judgment, we're always to be judging, first and foremost ourselves, making sure that we have that beam out of our eye before we go after the speck in a brother's eye. And remember that we never ever judge unbelievers in this way. Um, judgment begins in God's house and that is what the elders are doing right now. On the church website, this difficult decision was made after tremendous prayer and multiple meetings with Dr. Evans and the church elders. The elder board is obligated to govern the church in accordance with the scriptures. Dr. Evans and the elders agree that when any elder or pastor falls short of the high standards of scripture, the elders are responsible for providing accountability and maintaining integrity in the church. So number one, accusations against church leaders must have multiple witnesses to ensure that they're credible. When they are found to be sinning, public reproof is necessary as a means of warning to others. Don't entertain an accusation against an elder unless it is brought by two or three witnesses. But those who are sinning are to be reproved before everyone so that the others may take warning. Number two, restoration is a key goal and it should be done gently and very humbly. The emphasis is on helping the person return to a right relationship with God and the community. Brothers and sisters, if someone is caught in a sin, you who live by the Spirit should restore that person gently. But watch yourselves, or you may also be tempted. There's a responsibility on the community of believers to help those who have strayed, including the leaders, so that they will return to the truth, and the focus is on redemption and healing. My brothers and sisters, if one of you should wander from the truth and someone should bring that person back, remember this. Whoever turns a sinner from the error of their way will save them from death and cover over a multitude of sins. And four, forgiveness. Once the individual has faced the appropriate discipline and consequences, this is when the community needs to extend forgiveness and comfort. The punishment inflicted on him by the majority is sufficient. Now, instead, you ought to forgive and comfort him so that he will not be overwhelmed by excessive sorrow. I urge you, therefore, to reaffirm your love for him. And again, don't let this discourage you. This process is designed to keep all of us accountable and not like the sheep we are, to be allowed to just wander off right over a cliff, which is what we are so prone to do. Thanks for watching. And remember to look for the blessings in your life. They are all around you. Bye-bye.